Hello learners, this is Bharti Satish and now today's topic is on fiction written by Samuel Johnson. Samuel Johnson's literary criticism and this is about a modern fiction. It has been published in March 31st, 1750 in Rambler and also in modern fictions and this uh, he says that the fictions underground a profound change nowadays and he says that the romantic fictions of the past were bombarded with giants, knights, ladies, hermits and uh, the battle and their night lives. And the contemporary fiction depict about the true state of life, daily happenings in the world and it also depicts the passion and the qualities and, uh, and about the convincing, uh, how it convincing with the mankind were clearly portrayed in the modern fictions and he also says that the goal of art is to make people better and he uh, uh, he always um, go in way of Horace because Horace says the idea of uh, mixing profit with the delight and he says that the 18th century writers uh, have the pride or uh, pride as one of the most significant problem of the human condition were depicted in their novels and he says about virtue is the highest proof of understanding and it is a solid base for greatness and he says this vice as the natural consequences of the narrow thought and it begins in mistakes and it ends in ignominy. Moving on to the next topic it is preface to Shakespeare it is also written by Samuel Johnson. It is a literary criticism also. Through this he expressed his intention to edit Shakespeare in plays and it is also published in Miscellaneous Observations on Macbeth in 1947 and as a preface to Shakespeare in 1765. This, uh, this uh, for this preface he has followed and uh, he has followed the Johnson Stevens also and he uh, as we all know Johnson as a poet, essayist, moralist and a lexicographer also and through this literary criticism he he has uh, depicted about his views on Shakespeare's plays and he liked the heroic couplets and uh, he unliked the blank verses and he is an anti-classist and violator uh, and he's, he says that uh, Shakespeare is an anti-classist and he violated the three unities. And uh, he, uh, Johnson has written, published his dictionary in 1755 and his Lives of Poets in 1779-81 and it's about 52 poets. And his biography was written by Sam James Boswell and his own periodical is known as Rambler. It is a classical literary criticism because he, judged, he judged by impartial and objective method way of judging this work of Shakespeare and he you uh, he was a honest and uh, he has a uh, you uh, very honestly and sincerely estimated Shakespeare's plays and he play uh, and he says that Shakespeare's presented all the realms of life and not uh, but uh, but not only love he has presented all the realms of life and uh, and he says that uh, and uh, Johnson says that Shakespeare presented men and women or, uh, of ordinary life and Jonathan says that uh, Shakespeare's comedies end happily and tragedies uh, in his tragedies the heroes are always dead and in his historical the chronicles uh, they were merely chronicles but not unity of time and place were followed Shakespeare followed only the unity of action only and uh, talking about the language of Shakespeare he says that it is simple smooth and clear and Johnson says that the source of his plays uh, for his uh, As You Like It, he took the resource from Thomas Lord's novel Rosalind. <coughs> and for his uh, Hamlet, he took uh, the source from uh, Danish Kings. And uh, for all his historical dramas, he took his, uh, he took from Holinshade's Chronicles and for his Roman plays he took from Plutarch Life and uh, Plautus has a uh, Plautus Manakmi has been used as uh, used as a source for his comedy of error and uh, Romeo for Romeo and Juliet he has uh, taken source from Latin tragedy. So Jonathan says this Shakespeare has created character from real life like Chaucer also and his plots were loo uh, loosely formed and Johnson also says uh, says this Voltaire admired Addison's uh, uh, Quarto but he condemned Shakespeare's Othello but uh, Johnson uh, Johnson uh, says that a uh, Quarto was arti uh, full of artificial and it is only a merely a, a poetic passage 
but he has a uh, very uh, much admired othello of shakespeare because it is very vigorous and vicious and it is a uh, impregnated uh, genius also and the five editors of shakespeare uh, shakespeare were uh, the first folio of shakespeare was published in 16 we are mentioned here and the first folio of shakespeare was mentioned uh, published in 1623 by hemings and condols and nicholas draw this uh, nicholas draw have uh, written uh, on shakespeare and he, this is a biographical sketch used by johnson and this is the first system he is the first systematic editor of shakespeare and alexander pope also written on shakespeare, shakespeare but it was very dull and it was rejected by uh, he has rejected many lines for some reason that was not very well and uh, louis thibault has also <coughs> written on shakespeare but it was like uh, inflated and unnecessary minutes and sir thomas hanmer also like uh, wrote on shakespeare but it was a uh, text closely analyzed but he tried to reform such meters that was not apt and william warbert Wa- also has uh, written on shakespeare but it was very superficial and uh, whimsical and it was uh, opposed by the canons of criticism and the revival of shakespearean shakespeare's text so johnson finally noted that the illustrative as the intended explanation and judicial uh, and judicial aspect as the balanced manner and uh, emendation as the corrupted passages correction by the changing of the words that are allowed in his works so through this uh, critical essay johnson has exposed his views on shakespeare's works and shakespeare's critics as well